Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for R. This screencast covers section 9.9 .9 regressions, including 9.10 Model 1 Simple Linear Regression, section 9.12 Model 2 Principal Axis Regression, and section 9.13 Model 2 Ranged Principal Axis Regression. Regressions are done when you have a significant correlation between two variables and wish to derive an equation that allows you to forecast the value of one of the variables when you know the value of the other. Regressions on their own do not tell you if there is a correlation between the variables you are modelling. See section 9.5 in the book for further information. Regression analysis allows you to develop an equation in the form y equals a plus bx, where b is the slope of the line and a is the intercept. Please see the book for more details. So which regression should I use? There are two basic types of regression tests, term model 1 and model 2, and the model you use depends on the properties of your data. If you have total control of the x variable and measure the y variable, then you need to use a simple linear regression, sometimes called an ordinary least squares. If, however, you're going to be measuring both variables, you need a model 2 regression. If the two variables you are measuring are on the same scale, such as human arm span and human height in centimetres, then you need to use a principal axis regression, sometimes called a major axis regression. However, if the two variables are on different scales, such as measuring the girth of a tree in metres and its age in years, then you need to use a ranged principal axis regression, sometimes called a reduced major axis regression. So let's do a simple linear regression. This is a script that we will be using, and you may wish to pause the screen so you can look at it more closely. Alternatively, you can download it from the Resource Centre. The lines in green are notes to help you understand how the script works. The words in blue are variable names. You can change them to whatever you want, providing they are consistent throughout the script. The numbers in red are data and you can obviously swap these for your data when you want to perform your own custom analysis. One of the most important things to remember, however, are the words and symbols in black. These are the instructions to R and must be written exactly as shown in the script. All of the letters are lowercase. In this script, I have decided to enter the data in the program using the C operator. For other ways of entering data, see my screencast on an introduction to R. I have loaded the script Model 1 Linear Regression into R. This script contains the data from Table 9.11. I am now going to run this script line by line. Because I'm using a Windows-based computer, I will press Ctrl-R. If you are using a Mac, you can press Command-Option-R. As I press Ctrl-R, the line that has been run appears in the console window. As you can see, this is a note. I'm now about to define the variables using the C operator. I have defined distance from pylon and I've defined zinc concentration. I'm now going to do the regression using the LM command. We can see the output on the console window. The intercept is given as 737.6 and is equal to our A value. The slope or B value is minus 92.4. The package R also allows us to run a whole suite of Model 2 type regressions. So let's do a principal axis regression. This is a script that we will be using, and you may wish to pause the screen so you can look at it more closely. Alternatively, you can download it from the Resource Centre. I have loaded the script for principal axis regression, which contains the data from Table 9.15. However, to do the Model 2 regressions, I need to install the package LModel2. I am now going to go through all the steps to install this package. Please note that you may not need all of them, depending on your setup. First, I'm going to track up to packages and click. I'm going to select the repository, which in this case will be CRAN, and press OK. I'm then going to track back up to packages and select the mirror, which in my case will be UK Bristol, and press OK. I'm then going to go back up to Packages again and press Install Packages. You now have to track down the list until you come to 
the L Model 2 package. And here it is. I'm going to click OK. This will now be installed. I'm now going to click back up to packages again and load the package. I need to find my L Model 2 in the list and press OK. R should now be ready to use this package. So let's go through the script. Again, I'm going to go through pressing Control R. If you're using a Mac, then Command Option R should do the same thing. So, first we get through some of the notes, then we need to define the variables. Again, I'm using the C operator. I'm going to define the values for lower arm and define the values for lower leg. Now we need to run the test. As you can see, an output comes up automatically. I'm going to scroll a little back up because we get two tables and it is the first table that we want. You can see that we have four different regressions that have been run. In this case, for the principal axis regression, we are interested in the MA line. With the intercept for A equal to minus 26.94, and the slope, or B, equal to 2.688. Also note, line 1 is a simple linear regression, and line 4 is a ranged principal axis regression, which we will now do. This is a script that we will be using, and you may wish to pause the screen so you can look at it more closely. Alternatively, you can download it from the Resource Centre. So I have loaded the script to do the ranged principal axis regression and it contains the data from table 9.17. I'm now going to run through this script line by line. First, notes up here in the console window. Now I'm now going to define the variables using the C operator. And now I'm going to run the test. Again, we have two output tables. We wish the first one. In this case, we are interested in the line RMA. We can see that the intercept or A value is minus 2.368 and the slope or B value is 0 0.4844. I hope you found this screencast useful. For further information behind the theory or how to use the test, please consult the book. More information on how to use the programs can be found in our walkthrough web guides in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.